Right, I've just bought this 12 bore blank cartridge trip line mine off of eBay and today I'm going to show you how you can actually convert it from 12 bore so that it will fire 0.22 rim fire blank cartridges. Right, so the first thing you want to do with the 12 bore trip line mine is to reduce the tension of the spring here um, for the 2.2 um, blank cartridges and to do that you knock the um, roll pin out from the side here, put it in the vise nice and tight and knock that roll pin through with a punch. And then you take the spring, I've already altered mine, but what you do is cut off two full coils from the end with a pair of wire cutters. And then heat up the end here red hot, whilst it's red hot push it onto a flat metal surface. That will push the last two coils together there again and make it nice and square. And I alter the spring like this um, to reduce that tension because this one is actually designed for 12 bore cartridges which would have a, a lot more recoil. The 2 2 ones don't have so much recoil obviously and therefore you can cut this spring down, reduce the tension. It makes it much more sensitive on the um, trip line um, sear and it also makes the mechanism much easier to cock. So then I can reassemble it, put the firing pin in, or the bolt, put the spring on, and then the washer. Then pull the spring up past the um, roll pin hole, or the washer past the roll pin hole and put the roll pin back in. And try and get that one even. And that's the spring tension reduced for the 0.22 blanks.
Right, so now I've got to work out the offset hole for the 0.22 rim fire. Remember that the 12 uh, bore shotgun cartridge is a center fire. I could use this one that I've already done and put it onto the um, new one and use a transfer punch down through there to get the um, correct position. But I'll show you how I did it in the first place. I've got one of the 2.2 two, um, rimfire cartridges, put it onto the um, top of the um, component there. That's going to sit in the um, mine. And what I did was just put the rim just over the center or just onto the center of the um, component there. If you eye it up you can see where the um, tool is faced off and um, you can see exactly where the center is. So I put the cartridge on that. The rim is just on that center, not over it. And I've got a spray can and just sprayed the component with that on top. And for that I just use a cheap um, multi-purpose spray paint, it's acrylic based and it can just be polished off afterwards. Um, you'll see there that um, when I sprayed it, it did move a bit on that one, but if you spray further away then it won't move. Then when it's dry, take the 2-2 cartridge off and you'll be left with the position exact position for that um, hole. So centre punch the centre of the clear part and it'll be spot on. And there's obviously more technical ways of working that out but this is just a quick method to save having to work it all out. So I firstly drilled through there with a 4mm drill, now I'm going to use an 8mm drill and drill down so far um, just for a small step for the actual rim of the 2-2 blank. So this is where the cartridge will sit in. And then I use an 8mm 4 flu end mill bit, the blue nano type, which I got from Banggood. I line that up with that um, already um, machined 8mm step hole. And I'm just going to clean up the shoulder inside so that the rim of the uh, tutu will sit nicely on that square face. And then I finish off with drilling through with a 6mm drill for the actual cartridge body. So now I've just polished the paint off the front face here and deburred it a little bit. This is the finished component. You can see there that the 2-2 rim fire will drop down into that part there and it can also take the longer cartridges and this one simply drops into place through the hole at the bottom there like that you can have a look and just check that the um, firing pin will go inside that um, 8mm bore there, which it does. 
is perfect. And then to finish off, I made a aluminium collar with a six millimeter grub screw here. I put a bit of a knurl on it. And that one can go over the end here to lock it in position. It's a bit tight that one is. Like that. And lock that up. So you could actually turn it in any position and that firing pin will be exactly on the rim of the 0.22 cartridge. And when you get the trip line mine, on this hole here you have a key ring with these two chains. One's for the setting uh, pin and this is the sear for the trip line. And I've just put a, an extra um, like clip on there so I can just quickly put that one on and off in that hole there like that. So to cock it you pull this one up, put the split pin in the hole there so it's um, virtually nearly cocked. You'd obviously have it on um, a fence post or um, tree or whatever. Drop your cartridge in the um, chamber part here. Pull this one up a bit further until the groove comes up above the um, top part of the um, trip mine and then place the sear into that one with the trip line coming off here and I can't actually show you it going today because I live in a, a very close neighborhood and I don't want to wake anyone up or think that someone's been shot or something but later, a later day, I'll show you this one working. So that's what it looks like close up. You can see when I turn that component there, or the chamber, that the firing pin is on the rim of the tutu, no matter what position it's in. The spring tension is just right. It dents the cartridge and sets it off every time. The um, sear is much more sensitive, not being on a um, tough spring and it's much easier to cock. So um, it's an excellent um, tool. They're great for keeping trespassers off your land or farmland or whatever, poachers. And you can also put them uh, around or um, put one around the um, camping area in the wild if you live in places where there's bears or whatever. And when the trip line sets this one off, um, you'll know that there's something coming into your camping area.